The big story on Action News tonight is the plea from police and federal agents as they work to track down that teenage murder suspect, now a fugitive for more than 48 hours. And the longer Pryor stays on the run, the more desperate he becomes. This is brand new video U.S. Marshals say shows 17 year old Shane Pryor wearing a blue sweatshirt and distinctive hat hours after his escape on Wednesday morning. Today we also learned that police arrested 18 year old Michael Diggs here who they say helped Pryor flee that day after he ran from custody. Tonight, investigators zeroing in on friends and family to whom Pryor might turn for help and say they're in this hunt for the long haul. Action News reporter Annie McCormick live at police headquarters tonight. Annie, the message appears clear here. Anyone who helps this fugitive will face consequences themselves. Absolutely, and we are told that a number of people have been questioned question during this manhunt. Now the U.S. Marshal said that they are prepared to expand their manhunt outside of Philadelphia. However, at this time, they do believe that he is still within the city limits. It's been more than 48 hours in the manhunt for accused murderer 17 year old Shane Pryor and tonight new video. Authorities say this video shows him inside an Omni corner store at North Masher and West Godfrey Avenue hours after the escape. He spent 10 minutes there. It's the last time Pryor was seen. His ride, according to authorities, was 18 year old Michael Diggs. Six hours after their Olney stop, Philadelphia police pulled Diggs over in Germantown in this Tanford fusion and took him into custody. Today, Diggs faces charges for his alleged role in his friend's getaway. Marshals believe after prior escape from custody outside of the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia just before noon on Wednesday, he searched for a phone. He was denied a phone call at the front desk of another hospital building, then approached a woman on Civic Center Boulevard and asked to use her phone. That call led to Diggs arriving in the Ford. Right now, we're trying to sh shrink his world down. We're trying to cut off his resources. Pryor has been in custody for three years, awaiting trial in the October 2020 murder of 54-year-old Tanya Harris. His family says he maintains his innocence. Over the past two days, I've heard the family of Shane Pryor claiming his innocence for the murder which he has been charged. However, it is my contention that flight is an indicator of guilt, and the longer Pryor stays on the run, the more desperate he becomes. And again today, the U.S. Marshals reminding family and friends of Pryor that they will face prosecution if they are found to be helping him. Additionally, there is still that $5,000 reward for information that leads to his capture. For now, reporting live outside of Philadelphia Police Headquarters, Annie McCormick, Channel 6, Action News. Brian. And the search now goes into the weekend. Annie, thank you.